So now I can, this will be a drawback. This is a drawback that uh, they, uh, somewhere there is a compensation of current, somewhere there is a compensation for regulation. So this type of things can be removed in another type of machine which is called a compound bound. These are called the compound bond type of machines and these machines can be classified into two parts again compound bond can be classified into two parts one is called cumulative another is called the as a differential type one is called as a cumulative type another is called the differential type in cumulative type, what are actually compound motors? First of all, uh, compound motors are the combination of series and shunt field binding. Both the bindings are there. Series field binding is also there, and the shunt field binding is also there, so that there is a compensation for your uh, regulation. There is a compensation for your drop across the uh, uh, IARA. So, if we are compensating or uh, of uh, I into I, 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 then it is called as an over compound uh, one type of commutative uh, uh, DC generator and if it is the, it means that <coughs> some more few terms in series are added uh, so that the, there is a composition in the uh, IAR drop which where I was having EG mm, is equal to B T plus I A R A B T yeah so or we can say that terminal voltage which is actually the requirement E G minus I A R A so if there is no drop then B T will be equals to E G so this drop is not desirable. So I need to have less this thing as low as possible. So another type which is I already said that over compound uh, generator also there. Level compound generators are there, under compound generators are there. They are having different type of uh, application in different areas. We we'll discuss those in the application of DC generators. Uh, before that, uh, compound one generators as I said, the community type and differential type. In community type, phi shunt is adding to phi series. If the phi shunt is adding to the phi series, then it is called the compound compound type of motor. Whereas in differential type of com uh, compound motors, phi shunt is actually is not adding to the phi series actually it is opposing to the phi series so this is also having us uh, some example where the shine field should have uh, uh, mean, means it should be uh, punchy uh, shine fields are actually opposing the series field <coughs> so now coming to uh, the graph as I said directly, uh, we have seen that the flux are uh, normally the flux phi is directly proportional to IF. So I can have a quick view on the flux part when I talk about the separately excited brushes. <coughs> When I talk about the phi versus this is my phi and versus I F feed current, I can see that 
flux with phi IF is almost like this. <coughs> and this flux phi according to formula E is equal to E. E is equal to D phi by D. Phi is directly proportional to E. Another formula for DC generator, which we have not discussed till now, is E is equal to E is equal to P phi and Z by 60A. P phi E and Z by 60A, where P is the number of poles. Y is the flux and is the revolution per minute of my uh, rotor in RPM. Z is the number of conductors. A is the number of parallel parts of conductors. We will discuss this thing afterwards. We will discuss this thing also afterwards. Uh, but in, in practical ways, these two are constant. This is also constant. And for a given speed, speed is also constant. So, E is directly proportional to phi. So, I can say that phi since phi is directly proportional to my <coughs> phi is proportional to my e so here i can say that when my current if is increasing my sorry my when my flux is increasing my if is also increasing but to increase further flux to gen have a higher generation of electricity or higher generation of EMF. Suppose this is my point, this is my phi rated, this is my IF rated. So I, if I want to increase somewhat more uh, energy uh, or EMF or E here, which is as I can say that phi is directly proportional to E. So when I want to have more phi, to increase my E, I have to increase my I F at that point. So, if I can see that to increase this much of I F, after increasing this much of I F, my phi increase will be this much only. So, uh, there is almost a saturation after this point and there is a very slight uh, decrease, uh, sorry, increase in flux when my current IF is increased. So, this is, it is not advisable to have a higher flux to obtain uh, by increasing IF from a rated position. So, so, this is called a rated point, this is my phi rated and this is, this is the point, this is the operating point of my machine. This point Beyond that, oh, machine will continue to operate, but it will may draw a more IF to increase the E. So this point is also called as knee point, and which is as which is the operating point of my machine. Since I said that uh, from this equation, phi is direct proportional to E. So when I when I see the graph of E generated with respect to field current, then I get the same graph E generated with the. So at that point, this point be treated as E rated. At that point, this will be called as the E rated, and this is also the 
<coughs> graph for open circuit characteristics or of separately excited machines. This is the graph for separately excited. Now, <clears throat> coming to the external and internal characteristics of the VTIL or separately excited only. When I talk about the separately excited motor, uh, separately excited generator, VT is the terminal voltage and IL is the load current. So when I talk about the external characteristics, I will have suppose this is my integrator. I have have our two in characteristics. Since my load current will increase, as my load current is increasing, my there is a drop in the VT. VT means the terminal voltage. EG, you know that this thing EG is equal to VT plus VT minus, or I can say this thing VT is equal to EG minus IA into RA. So as IA is increasing, there is a drop in VT because it is getting minus from EG. So almost this line, I'll have a different color now so that you have a better idea of what I'm doing. So, I'll be having a slightly different line. So, this VTIL, this graph is called the external characteristics of the separately excited motors, the separately excited DC generators, I mean, sorry for the, uh, this one. And this is called the internal characteristics, which is drawn between VT and RFA. So this is very important regarding objective type questions also and to know the better idea of what exactly the machine is doing when it is loaded. And this drop in between drop is actually the IA RA drop which is this. So external characteristics plus IARA is equal to the internal characteristics of the <coughs> separately excited machines. When I talk about the series types, in the series type, uh, uh, we know uh, some of the uh, students may be knowing this thing, this fact that uh, this we will continue in 5 minutes.